Great. Thank you so much. Um, hi, Brian. My name is Daniel with Cold Tea Collective. Hey, um, Daniel. I, I, I like wanted the backdrop, to... man. Thank you. I got this from my friend in Hong Kong. I had to DM her. Uh, she took this photo herself as her favorite street. And I was like, I need this for a Zoom background. So Really? That's yeah. amazing. She took it herself? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Wow. So she's based in Hong Kong. Um, That's but I incredible. Wanted, I wanted to do something as a nod to the show. Um, yeah, I, it's it's much appreciated because it really feels it almost feels very cinematic, like you actually took it from the show. It's so great. Thank you. I want to first start by asking you. Your character Clark goes through a lot. Um, first question: What was the most creatively satisfying scene for you to shoot, or kind of experience personally? Huh. There's a lot. Um, it's hard to. It's hard to depict one thing, so I'll share maybe a few of them, but I think one of the greatest things that had happened for myself as an artist, as an actor, and as far as character is concerned was our very first scene. And it was the very first scene of me and Nicole. Um, and we just jumped into what we call the pool. And mm. I think we had to bear our soul, but it was the moment where, and this is our very first scene we're actually acting together, mm. but it was the moment where we find out about the tragedy mm -hmm. and that moment alone sparked like this big bang for all of us because literally we're crying and yelling and screaming take after take and then loving and hugging and all this other stuff and what it really revealed to us was to bear our souls with one another mm -hmm. right and it really was the pinpoint and the start of our relationship as far as clark and margaret and in that moment it was 20 years of experience and it, it couldn't have been more scary, mm -hmm. but yet uh, such a gift for that to be our first scene. And it really kind of, I feel shows within the extent of the series and how close these two um, particular characters are. Yeah, that's really beautiful. Um, one of the things that really struck out to me was that Clark gets this rock that helps him find the silver linings uh, and gives yeah. him hope as he kind of wades through this quiet anguish that he's going through mm -hmm. um and i wanted to know if you had any items like that in your life or anything that kind of helps you find those silver linings ah <sighs> it's it's interesting i think especially through clark and through all of the characters they're all searching for something right within this tragedy they're all trying to find that sense of hope and we're all completely lost we're all I guess very much on our own island, dealing with certain circumstances and situations alone, solely. And what Clark tries to find is is some piece of answers of why this is happening or a sense of hope or a sense of a higher calling or whatever it is. And he, and he finds it in this rock, oddly. Mm. Um, and I think for myself, you know, there's not this one particular item that I really kind of connect to to somehow find solace. I find it in the people mm. that I'm around. Mm. I find it in my wife, especially, mm -hmm. and I find it in um, my daughter. And as long as those two are around, I can uh, find peace into whatever hardship I'm actually going through. Yeah. Um, I just want to say that, you know, this kind of role, this kind of performance, I think it's one that that sticks with you. Uh, it's gonna be something that sits with me for a really long time. I really resonated a Thank lot you. with the show. Um, I felt that it was very powerful and cathartic and healing. So I wanted to know, um, how has Clark shaped you going forward? Because this really does feel like such a special and intimate character that you got to play. Yeah, I think uh, Clark is one of the characters that I oddly related to most, not necessarily with the tragedy, but just as far as a human is concerned. And I think one of the themes that Lulu is really wonderful at um, establishing is that sense of humanity. I think moving forward, especially experiencing Clark, I think he's, he's taught me in certain ways and how to deal with tragedy or how to deal with grief in so many different ways and do so many different levels that, you know, hopefully none of this ever happens to me on a personal level. But I know that there will be loss in life. And in order for me to kind of process through it, I would have to imagine because of the experiences I had with Clark that it would it would reflect on me, right? There would be pieces of that that I have experienced and probably learned from through this journey on expats. Yeah.
No, that's beautiful. Um, and if you could give Clark one piece of advice, because I know that, you know, he seeks out the pastor. Um, but for you, if you could tell him something, what would you like to say? Wow. I, I think, I think I would tell Clark that there's no one way and there's really no answer. I think Clark's tried his best to lead with love and he continues to do so. And whatever experience he's going through is the right experience for him. I don't think there is a right or wrong and I don't think he should try to judge himself for it. And I mm. think a lot of us, as far as humans are concerned, judge ourselves for our experience and how we're processing them. But I think the process and the journey is its process and journey. And that would be the advice that I would share with Clark. Thank you so much for all that. And thank you so much for your time, Brian. Uh, I really appreciate thank it. You. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you. You too. Appreciate that. Bye. Bye.